technical education and general education. Education is the backbone of a nation. Education enlightens people. In this case, both types of education play an important role in the development of a nation. General education usually makes a person highly educated. But such education often fails to establish a person in his life, because general education does not specialize a person. As a result, many highly educated people remain unemployed and eventually become a burden to the country. On the other hand, a person with a technical education can manage a job in some way or be self-employed. Age of survival of the fittest. So, general education often does not land a man a decent job. Rather it creates higher education clerkships. General education can fulfill the educational needs but it cannot fulfill one's basic needs. A country like Bangladesh needs a dedicated workforce which only technical education can provide. Surprisingly, one finishes his MBBS course and gets a job in a bank or a commercial organization. So where is the value of that degree? A man with money can usually be educated. He can contribute to the country and nation by his knowledge. In contrast, technical education is job-oriented. It ensures getting jobs in related fields, whereas general education increases excitement and frustration. Technical education should be made compulsory for all. On the contrary general education should be for selected people only. Technical education is inevitable considering our socio-economic condition. Clerks and officials are needed, but some skilled workers are more important. We have to remember that there is no substitute for production and this production is possible only by skilled people. A skilled worker is preferable to a highly educated unemployed person. Both types of education are welcome as far as education and knowledge are concerned. But when it comes to the question of reality and realistic values, they should be distinguished.